In this video, we're going to learn how to work with iframes. Iframe stands for inline frame. It allows us to embed a website inside of another website. Working with iframes can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what to look for. Welcome to Atomy Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. We're going to begin by taking a look at the sandbox page at automatenow.io. And here we have different categories that we can automate. We're going to take a look at iframes. So let's click this. And this takes us to the iframes web page. This web page contains two other web pages embedded inside of it. The first web page is this one. It's the one for Wikipedia. As you can see, this is the normal web page that you can interact with. On the bottom here, we have another web page. This is related to Android. And again, we can do whatever we want in this page here. Now, our scenario is going to be to navigate to this iframes web page. And then we're going to interact with this Wikipedia website. We're going to be conducting a search for test automation here. And then we're going to click this button here with the magnifying glass. Now, one important thing to know about iframes is that before we can interact with an iframe, we have to tell Selenium to switch to that iframe that we want to work with. So if we navigate to this web page here, iframes, and then we try to interact with this iframe here without first switching to it, the test is going to fail. Let's go ahead and start writing our test now. Here, I went ahead and created a page object for iframes page. And I also created a method called wiki search. This is going to allow us to enter text in this field right here and conduct a search. Next, we're going to write the methods that are going to allow us to switch to the iframe before we can start working with it. So let's go to the base page object here. And we're going to create a couple of new methods. The first method is going to be called switch frames. And there are a few options in Selenium that allows us to switch to an iframe. We can say driver dot switch to dot. And here we have frame. There are three different methods for that. One, we can pass the index of the frame. So if we have a page that contains, let's say, two iframes, the first iframe would be index zero. And the second one would be index one. We can also use a string in passing the name of the frame or the ID of the frame. And lastly, we can pass in a web element for that iframe. Let's go back to the website and take a look at these iframes. I'm going to right click on this one here, since this is the one I want to work with, and inspect it. Notice that here, we can see that this is inside of an iframe. So this would be the first website. The second website is this one here, has another iframe. Each one of these contains an ID. So I could use this ID, or I could use the index. So this would be index 0, and this one would be index 1. I'm going to keep it simple and just use the index. So in our case, we want the first iframe. So we're going to say index zero. So this method is going to allow us to switch to any iframe by using the index. Now we're going to write another method. And this one is going to be called switch to default frame. Before we implement this method, let me go back to the website again. So we said that we're going to navigate to this iframes web page. Then we need to switch to this iframe right here. And then lastly, we're going to switch out of this frame and go back to the original web page, this one here, so that we can perform other actions on this page. So just to summarize here, before we can interact with this iframe, we first need to switch to this iframe. But if we want to interact with the original web page, we need to switch out of this iframe to go back to this original web page, which contains the iframes. And this is the method that we're going to implement here. So we say driver dot switch to dot default content. Let's take a look at this method's definition. It says here that it selects either the first frame on the page or the main document when a page contains iframes. And now that we have the page object for the iframes page, as well as the common methods that we're going to use to switch to the iframes, we can begin to write our test. And this is the test that we're going to write called test iframes. And the first thing that we're going to do is to click on that iframes button when we navigate to the sandbox page. And this method is simply going to click on the iframes button, this one right here. After we click this, we're going to land on this page here. And then we need to switch to this iframe for Wikipedia. So here we're going to say switch frames. Wikipedia is the first iframe. So we're going to pass in index zero. Then we're going to conduct a search. We're going to say iframes dot wiki search. 
And here we're just going to say test automation. All right, let's go ahead and run this test and see how it works. We're going to leave this breakpoint right here so we can see what happens. And as we can see, it navigated to the iframes page and then navigated to this website here for Wikipedia. And then it entered this query right here, test automation, and it was successful. Now let's see what happens when we omit this step right here of switching to that iframe. So I'm going to comment this out right here and I'm just going to run this test and see what happens. And here we see that the test failed. It says here that it's unable to locate an element, which is the search input box here. As I mentioned before, we first need to switch to the iframe before we can start working with that iframe. Let's go ahead and undo this change. And now let's say that after we perform this query, we want to validate this text right here. So let's see how we're going to do that. I went ahead and created a new method here called get page title. This is under iframes page. And all this is going to do is to get that H1 title here, iframes. So let's go back to the test. And here we're going to create a string. And we're going to call this page heading and we're going to say iframes dot get page heading and then we're going to perform an assertion on this string so we're going to make sure that the page heading reads iframes if it does not we're going to say that the page heading does not match now let's go ahead and run this test and here we see that the test failed let's see why it says here unable to locate element entry title. And this is coming from this method here. It's not able to locate this page heading. So when it navigates here to the Wikipedia page and conducts that query, then it tries to locate this heading here, but it's not able to find it. And the reason why you can't find this text right here, it is because we're still on this iframe here. We need to switch out of this iframe and go back to the original frame, which would be this one here. So because we switched to this iframe here, any commands that we send to Selenium will only be sent to this iframe here. In our case, we need to switch out of this iframe to go back to the original frame so that we can locate this text. So let's go back to the test. After we look for this test automation on the Wikipedia page, we need to switch out of that Wikipedia iframe. And we're going to use the method that we wrote in the base page class, which was switch to default frame. Now let's run the test once again. And this time, our test was successful. I hope this video was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. See you in the next video.